Hi guys, how's it going? Um, welcome back. Um, this is actually the second time filming it, so I'm not as enthusiastic as was the first time because I messed something up and just wasted like basically like 40 minutes of my life. Uh, but um, you know, I I know I haven't made videos in a while, and I really wanted to make a video about how to um install a Arc Survival dedicated server in Linux. Um, this will basically work for any Linux distro, um, it'll work for Ubuntu, um, Red Hat, uh, Fedora, it doesn't matter. It works for every Linux distro. And uh, I'm, I'm going to go over with you like how to actually install this. Um, so first of all, uh, make sure you're in the home directory of your uh, user. Um, but like make sure you're not a root user because it's important that you don't install run a server as root because people can, you know, there's hack it or like security risks so essentially what you want to do is like create a new user if you haven't done so already and just you know cd like the, ooh, squiggly i forgot what it's called uh it's a pot straight no it's not but anyway you just type that in and you'll go to your home directory um and this is how you generally how your home directory looks like um but if you never actually installed Linux before, I recommend you watch the video on how to in install Red Hat and actually just install Red Hat. Um, I like Red Hat um, because it, it it's managed well and uh, it's a good stable server distro. Um, so if you haven't watched the video on how to uh, get free subscri subscription as a developer, um, you can go ahead and watch my tutorial on how to install uh red hat 7.2 um but for now but now i'm gonna teach you guys how to install arc because if you've seen that video you probably already installed red hat so this is specifically um well then it, it's really not specifically for red hat there's only one step that's uh red hat related which is this step that i'm about to do so i'm gonna go into root <clears throat> Okay, remember your password, kids. All right, so I I go into root and I need to make sure I have um these libraries uh installed. Um, so this is the only step that you need. Um, that that's that for Red Hat Linux on Ubuntu. It's um another command to install these libraries. Um, essentially what these libraries are is like, I, th I believe there's a comp compiler li libraries for C++ that allow you to use like um, C++ commands and stuff. I don't know. Not, I'm not really sure, but you need it. It's a, it's a library dependency of the file that we're going to use. Um, but if you have Linux, this is the command. I mean, like if you have Red Hat 7.2 or, or 7, it doesn't matter what distro you have. Um, I mean, not it doesn't matter which version you have, um, but... As long as it's a 64-bit Red Hat, this is what you will use. Like, you can use this in CentOS and Fedora uh, too, I believe. But I know for a fact this will this command is the only difference um, between um, any other distro compared to, um, <clears throat> like, Red Hat. So anyway, so I already have these two uh, libraries installed. But if you didn't have those two libraries installed, like, typing that command in will install it for you if you ran Red Hat. Um, so now I'm going to switch back to... Uh, I see you so now I'm going to switch back to your username. Um, remember, this is important. Make sure you stay as your user that you're going to install Linux with. I mean, install the Arc server with. So first of all, we're going to make a, make a new directory in your home directory. We're going to call it Steam. Um, we're going to log into it. Or log, log, we'll get, get into it. And then we're going to grab this file. So I use wget. I mean, there's the CURL or any other like CURL. Um, but there's other functions. But like, I like this one. Um, so type this in. So you type that in. It'll install that file for you. It's going to be in the Steam folder. So then you have to obviously extract the file. Um, so there you go. Now you have the files. Now that you have the files, all you have to do is run this file. Steam command.sh. Um, if it's uh, red or it's, you know, 
if if it's not executable, um, like if it doesn't have this X right here, um, just gmod plus X steam command um, dot sh, um, it'll uh, allow it to become executable. Um, see right here, yeah, it's right here. So it's now it's it's executable if it's not working for you the first time. So we're gonna log on to our steam command. So this is actually the steam program that uh, steam provides. So it's completely safe. Mm, we're gonna Logging as anonymous. <clears throat> do, 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 do. So, first thing we're gonna do is uh, make a new folder. We're gonna call it the Arc Island. Um, so, force install dir, uh, force underscore install underscore dir um, Arc Island. Um, this will create, as you can see, we have the scene folder here that was created in the home directory. Um, once we open it up, now we have this folder called Arc Island. <clears throat> And we're gonna need that in a sec. So now we're just gonna go ahead and uh, install the server, the dedicated server. Um, so this number is reference actually to um, the Arc dedicated server. Um, if you change the number and you know what number it is, you can potentially install other dedicated servers. But so it kind of applies to any dedicated server. But I but the reason why I'm just specifically chose Arc is because like we run a Arc server and it's um we, there's not a lot the information on how to set up mods is very confusing so i thought this would be a good way to to explain to everybody you know how to actually install mods into a dedicated linux server um so we're going to go ahead and just force install there um and then we up, update so every time arc updates you have to come back in here log in Typing force install dir um, arc island and then you have to type in app update this number and then validate. So every time the they update the server, you have to go through this. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just skip over this part because it's kind of annoying to wait. I know what you mean, guys. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip this part and so you can guys can more so we can get to the part where it's more interesting. Okay. All right, guys. All right. So now that the application is done, we can exit. Boo! Clear. So now we can go into the Arc Islands folder that we originally created with the force installer inside um, the Steam, the Steam command that sh. So now that we're inside of it, I keep looking. I'm gonna enter shooter games, enter binaries, obviously Linux. No. Okay. Well, I can't type. Okay. All right. So now we have it here, right? This is called the shooter server, game server. So now, um, depending on what you're comfortable with, I like to use Vim. You can use Emacs. You can even actually just use any uh, word processing uh, program that you like, like Gedit or whatever. Um, but uh. The point is going to the shooter games, binaries, uh, Linux. Um, but the key here is so to create a um, a shell script here. So not only are we installing a one game server, but we're also learning how to write our first shell script. And three, we're gonna install mods. So there you have it. Ah oh, man, I feel I feel so proud that I'm like teaching just a little bit. Arc server. Um, okay, so I just named it Arc Server Start. You can name it whatever you want, but like make sure you have .sh because well, it's a shell script. <laughs> so now we're in here. To pr um, we're gonna start writing in it. Um, v. Um, so if you never used v v v i vim or v uh, called v i, um, and you decided to follow along, so well, when you get in here, you have to press i. Um, so at the bottom it says it should say nothing um, when you first um, open up via but if you press I the, the button I on your keyboard whew, you see it says insert so that means you can actually start typing now okay so we're gonna go ahead and uh, write our little script here um, that I have prepared on my server that I will bring up now okay so uh, do 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 so Alright, so that's how you start a shell script. 
for bin. I mean, there's bash, just other, but like this is what we use, okay? So just do this. So that was the file that was in the folder. Um, here you can obviously, you don't have to be the island, you can be the center. Um, you know, we could, we could type in the center here if we wanted to, but we're going to deal with island. I'm going to say max player is 50 just because um, my computer is awesome, my server computer is awesome, my internet is awesome. Um, so I can support 50 people, not bragging, just saying. Um, stop the server, to stop the server, to stop the server, press control plus C before time runs out. Yeah. Oh yeah, rebooting. Ba -boom 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 -ba -boom -ba -boom -boom. And so here you can have, you know, um, uh, so here you can have, you know, however many seconds you want. Um, da 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 da. Oh. Okay. Um. Okay. So what this script does is, while it's true, so basically while we're not Control C here, um, we will do this. We will run this command. Um, here's the thing. We purposely did this way is because if the server crashed, it can automatically boot itself back up. Um, but to basically stop the server, um, you know, you, you just press Control C uh, after you terminate the server inside the game. Um, otherwise, after this countdown, um, it will reboot the server, basically. So now press Escape. So now it disappeared. Um, press um, the call. Press the um, Shift. Hold down Shift and uh, semicolon. Um, the one, the, the button that's next to L, uh, the, the right, the button that's right to L, uh, is the semicolon, and then you type in right, so it, now it's written, so then hold down shift and semicolon again, colon, colon again, and press Q, now we're exiting, now we have the script, right? But it's, it's not executable script right now, because it's, obviously, it's, it's, it's not executable. So once again, we're gonna go and come here. Chima plus X arc server start. All right, guys. So now arc server start. Yep. Oh, hold on, it's going on here. <clears throat> really? What? What's going on here? Look at that. We get to. We get to. Uh, Ah, it's, it's a troubleshoot. Uh, it's a shooter. There we go. Okay, my bad. My apologies. That's that's a bad way to do it. Don't 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 do that. Recover. Okay. All right. So now. So now we actually typed in the right command. So it's shooter game server. I had shoot game. Okay. So now, now we can run it. So while um, this this is the only thing that comes up. Um, but if the light is still blinking or it's not blinking, it doesn't matter if it's blinking or not. Um, but essentially, as long as this is running. And it doesn't exit out of the program. Um, it basically means it's it's going through its process of starting up the server. So right now it's actually starting up the server, but you just can't see it. It's something that Arc people did that I have no idea why they did the way they did. Um, but essentially the server is now up. Um, so we can go ahead and actually just. You know, make sure that the server is, uh, actually, I can't test it right now. Um, or can I? No, not yet. Okay, so, 
So now that we know the server is working, even though you can't see it on here, but it is uh, working. So yeah, you need to trust me on this. We need to go to applications. We need to go to um, the firewall. So go to application, sundry, um, and then firewall. <clears throat> There are other ways to do this. You can obviously use the IP tables to do this, but um, I find it just it, it's just a little easier to use the GUI. That's just a personal preference because I'm lazy. Um, so here you will need your root password. Um, so the first thing you need to do here, assuming you okay, so I just want to make sure that um, as you guys are running this, that you guys I, I I'm I'm assuming that you guys want to run this server on the default port that is supplied that is like considered as the default port by Arc and Steam. So the first thing you need to do is after you open up firewall under configuration click on permanent. So now you're actually in the permanent window. So click on ports and add. So this is the default port of um Arc. So and its uh, protocol is UDP, but it's seven 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 to seven 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 eight, and these are the default ports. So you want to press OK. So it's going to show up here. Then we're going to add another rule. Uh, this is the query port. So like when uh, when some when when something is requesting the IP address of your server or information of your server, um, this is what it will use it, it it's technically just this but i like to leave like a few more ports open just in case i have other servers so this way leaves a smaller i would say like a smaller list um but make sure it's udp and it's 27015 if you just want to 2715 that's fine too um press okay so now you have both ports um open on your computer and then you have to do the same thing for your router but you know, I'm not going to teach you that because everybody have different routers and I don't know what router you have, but just know that you need to open up um, this this port and this port. But it's important that you open up these two ports, 777 and 7778, because that's the raw port, um, the one that's plus regular port. So you need definitely these two, but you, can, you, you only need the 27015 if you so choose this, but you must have these two ports. And then we're going to go up here, go to options, and we're going to reload firewall D. So now it's open. So now your server um, box is open to everybody else, ev to everybody from these two ports, or these three ports, should I say. Um, and you're done there. So now it's set up. Now you should, anybody should be able to connect to your game server. Okay. So that's, so, but, so now I'm going to turn off the server. And we're gonna um, go check where the configuration files are, and and uh, we can go start install some mods, because after all, what fun is this game without the mods? Hey! <sighs> because I can't actually access the game and uh, and turn it off. This is other, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just kill it. Um, Generally, um, I don't recommend doing this, um, but I mean, it, it doesn't matter for me at this point because, like, I just want to show you guys how to do it. Um, okay. Computer's running a little slow now. Oh boy. <sighs> Shouldn't have done that. I guess the map wasn't even really loaded up, so. Um. So good thing to remind you guys is after you start the server, um, it takes a good 10 minutes or so, uh, d or depend on your CPU, how long um, it's going to take for you guys to show up. Um, but anyway, so let's go, let's go through. So now, not once, so you booted up the server once. Now we're going to go back to our main directory, open Steam, Steam folder, and then we're going to open up the Arc Island the folder we, we created earlier. And then we're going to go into um, shooter games. No, we're going to go into, l yeah, we're going to go into shooter games. Um, so now there's a folder called saved. Um, that's because after we uh, ran the, um, 
the game server, it creates like the, the saved stuff for your map. Um, so here we have um, all the configurations for your, for your server. So open up CD config file, uh, config, CD config folder that's in the save folder. And then we're going to go into the Linux server. Uh, so here, here's all the game properties. Generally, you're probably only going to use these two. Uh, to set your uh, configurations, so I'm gonna v game user settings. So you see, like it's already been created for you. Um, all you have to do is just change the name. So press I, so you're insert, so you can edit session name. You can change it to Galore Servers. Awesome Linux server. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can change the player, 75, whatever. Um, you can change scalability. Um, you can change a lot of stuff in here. Um, but you can also add these commands. I'm not going to tell you what they are. All you have to do is just go on Google and search for Google search. Just Google search, you know, uh, say game user uh, settings, whatever, uh, arc uh, settings, you know. Uh, you, you'll find plenty of settings that, uh, that you can use. Um, so we're not going to save this file, but you, we're going to we game that ini. Uh, there's nothing in here, but like that's where you put like um, the uh, player levels and dinosaur levels and stuff in there. Um, okay. All right. So now, now that we got the server up and running, um, we're gonna install mods. So for that, we're gonna temporarily switch over to Windows because um, there's an issue. So you can technically install um, the mods or download the mods from Steam command, but they're not unpacked with the Arc Unpacker uh, for mods extensions. So this is the only other way that I know how to do it. I mean, if you guys know a better way um, and you guys want to help other people, feel free to let me know. But um, this is the only way that I know how to do it. Um, so we're going to go switch over to Windows temporarily. Ooh, look at that. I mean Windows already. Yeah. Alright. So So this is what we need to do. Alright, so we need to go into where do I need to go into? Hold on. Uh, let me see. Do 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 Okay, Steam, and then we're gonna go to Steam Apps. <laughs> so this is my Windows. I know it just magically. Um, common Arc, and then we're gonna go to Shooter Games. So this is the actual game folder for your um, Steam, like for the actual game that you're playing on Windows. So we're gonna go to Content, and then we're gonna go to Mods. And so here's all the mods um, that I downloaded with um, Steam Workshop. Um, if you don't know where that is, you can go to over here, workshop, typing arc, arc survival evolved. Okay. And then you can find the mods here. And if you like the mod, um, you can click on the subscribe button. So after you click on subscribe button, you actually have to go to your game and uh, launch it in order for, for the arc, um, updater mod updater to extract it so you actually have to come over here and open up arc survival evolved in order for the mod to be installed inside this folder that is within your steam steam apps common arc shooter game content mods so now that the mod is in here it's gonna look like this say we look we wanted this mod um so uh, okay so the, the, so in order to figure out which mod you actually have um you actually have to say we have to go to we ha actually have to go to the workshop. I'm typing arc. So it's it's written out in numbers, and you won't know what the numbers are. But <clears throat> so but you can see on here, like when I click on the mod, um, that there is a mod ID that's associated with it. Um, just make sure you know what the mod ID. So say I use. S plus the structure plus mod, which we all really, really like, or let's just say this one. Okay. S three S loot. Just make sure you rec you see the mod ID to the right. It says seven, seven, one, one, three. Uh, we're going to use the structure plus structure plus. 
Where is it? Uh, I can't f seem to find it. Ah, uh, what do? Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna go to my. Uh, uh, what's going on here? I'm just gonna go sort. I'm sure I'll be able to find it. Okay, so this this mod we actually installed the medieval props because we wanted it. Um, say you're in here. Um, okay, that's about it. Okay, so say it's right here. Um, if you click on the medieval, so it, on this one it doesn't say what it is. Um, we can click on the mod itself, and it's, it tells it tells you what the mod is uh, ID is. But if it doesn't, you can copy the, the page URL. Both open up Notepad, type it in. Um, you can see what what what's ID is. It's gonna be the same as this one. Um, so now we know what ID is. Uh, we're gonna go back to the mod folder. So seven four zero. So it's gonna be this mod, <clears throat> right? So what you need to do is copy this mod, th this file, and this folder, uh, and the mod folder, which is which folder is that? Seven four seven seven four. I'm just gonna name it. So we're gonna grab that file, and then seven four two. So it's this file. This file is gonna match this two. So we need these two files. We're gonna make a copy of it. Um, bring it to the desktop. Um, and so then you can transfer the files via flash. Uh, you know, like a flash USB or a flash drive or you can do it all with um you know whatever um you can flash flash fxp or um you can use flash fxp um or you can use any other like a usb drive drive whatever but the key is so now we're in the home directory that we were in earlier so so i i used my ftp uh, um so access to go to my home directory so this is my home directory and this is what it shows so this is my home directory and here's the steam folder and here's the arc island server we created so i logged it in with the ftp software you can use any other ftp software but i use flash fxp it's a really old program i really like it it's solid um and then you just go into shooter games um content and mods and so here this is where you would actually update um where all the mods are so i already installed a, quite a few mods so this is actually um this is actually my actual dedicated server so i already installed a bunch of mods but essentially what you do is just grab these two files you basically you install these two the folder and the file and you drag it into this folder so in terms of where it's at well it's in steam arc island shooter games um content um, mods and so on here it's obviously empty because we just installed the server but you basically put those two files in here okay and then what you do is um uh, hold on so and then oh, do, 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 do. so you so now we're gonna v game user settings so now in here um you see where we were earlier? Um, so here I'll show you guys. So in the shooter game folder, like where we were earlier in the saved folder, and then we exit config. Uh, so, so this were so CD Linux server config, and then we have like these two files are. So what you want to do is game open up game user settings. Okay. So now in order to get the mod working, even though you installed modding here, it it's just not gonna work right so you need to get it working um so and the way to do that is uh let me find the command for it uh, uh, so much work so much work oh, i should have saved this earlier uh -huh. okay um, In order to get it working in here, you have to type active mod. Active mod was active mods. Yeah, active mods equal 
um, whatever this mod was, whatever the mod number ID was, uh, which we need to take a quick look at, um, it was 74207789. So I'm going to go back to our Linux server. Um, so 72. Oh my god, my memory sucks. 7420. Okay. So I'm just going to. So I'm in my Linux box, and I'm also in here. So active mod seven four two zero seven seven eight six nine. Okay. There we go. Okay. So once I type that in, and you can add additional mods, you know, whatever the mod number is, and you just you can keep ad add additional mods. Um, but so then now you put you shift um semicolon um. And then W to write it, and then shift, semicolon, colon, and then quit. Okay, so now it's saved. Then we're going to go back um, to the home directory, uh, open up Steam folder, we're going to open up Arc Island server, we're going to open shooter games, and we're going to open binaries, we're going to open Linux, and now Arc server start. .sh. Now it's going to start the server with that mod installed. And there you have it, guys. Congratulations. You have set up, or rather, I have set up an Arc server with mods. Um, so the only difficult challenge about this thing is every time um, when the mod is updated, you have to open up Arc the game in order to download the latest version of the mod and then you know, update the mod manually. They actually did add a feature that was supposedly allowed to automatically update the mods, but unfortunately it doesn't work. So this is the only other way that I know how to get the mods working. And that's how I've been running the server. It's been running really good. Um, so, but uh, if you guys have any questions about how to actually install the mods or if there's any ARC game settings that you guys have no idea what the fuck is going on because you know like i was there for a long time trying to figure everything out um if you guys need some help don't hesitate and let me know because um hopefully i'll be able to help you guys out and so for me i like to just run it in the terminal window like this you know i can you know hide it you know if i don't need to use it um but it's essentially going to run the server um and then you know, if there's any issues, it's going to restart itself. Or if you shut down the server, or if you want to restart the server, just shut down the server. And after 8 seconds, according to our bash script, it's going to restart it. So, there you have it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it helped you guys to start Arc server. And if you did, please feel free to subscribe to me and... I will make an Arma 3 server video for you guys. Um, that is much, much more complicated, but I'll try my best to, to describe to you guys how to install that with Exile Mod even. So stay tuned for that, and uh, please subscribe to us, because we like to help people. So And feel free to join our TeamSpeak server and play with us too. Yeah, because we also run ARC servers. So thanks. Bye, guys. Bye. Hoi.